With less than a week to go until the solar eclipse, it's time to make a plan. And that can include getting kids ready and making sure their eyes stay safe. Elliot's 18's Evelyn Schultz spoke with a Lexington pediatrician about the do's and don'ts of viewing a solar eclipse with children. It's a good science lesson um, and it's something to experience together, which is always fun. Dr. Beth Hawes says the total solar eclipse can be a great learning opportunity for the whole family, but it's important to get ready ahead of time. She says do prepare by talking about what to expect. The experience can be scary for young children or those with autism or other developmental disabilities. If you can find a book about it and read it several times, that seems to help. Um, I think watch you can watch a video of old eclipses, um, maybe what that would look like. Don't forget appropriate eclipse glasses for your kids with an ISO number and logo and the manufacturer's name. You can even make the glasses more secure by creating a wider shield made of paper plates. And you want to inspect those uh, before you view the eclipse, just to be sure there's no irregularity, there's no little holes in those. Finally, do consider another way to view the eclipse by making a pinhole projector. You just take a card and punch a hole in it and you can stand with your back to the sun and project the image onto the ground or onto a piece of paper and you can view it most safely that way because you're not facing the sun at all. And when it comes to pets, the American Veterinary Medical Association says most dogs and cats won't be bothered, but just keep an eye on them. They also don't need glasses because they don't generally stare at the sun. Yeah, like, um, what are you, what are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going inside and taking a nap, yeah. <laughs>